Okay. Hi, YouTube. Welcome to our first episode of Seasonal Swigs and Sweets. I'm Amber. I'm John. And the gist of this is we'll be reviewing seasonal beers and creating a seasonal dessert to go along with it. Um, so this episode, the theme is Oktoberfest. So the beer that we have this week is Great Lakes Oktoberfest. And the dessert we have is... The dessert is an apple kuchen, which is like a German coffee cake. And we will link to the recipe in the comments. Mm -hmm. Alright, so uh, let's get started. So... Great Lakes Oktoberfest, uh, Great Lakes Brewing Co is made by the Great Lakes Brewing Company, which is out of the great city of Cleveland, Ohio. And its description says, Cleveland's celebration of Oktoberfest dates back to the mid-1800s when German immigrants gathered at outdoor beer gardens at Halt North's and Kinderwater's St. Claire Gardens. Our Amber Lager... Hey, that's me! <laughs> ...with rich malt flavor and noble hops honors Cleveland's diverse cultural heritage. Sounds pretty complex. And as someone who spent some time living in the Cleveland area, I know nothing about that diverse heritage. Excellent. Okay, and uh, there's not much information on the Great Lakes website, but it does say it is an Amber Lager with rich malt flavor balance... Uh, rich malt flavor balanced by fragrant hops... It has a 6.5% AB, uh, ABV, and the IBU is 20. Um, I think you said this got a 100% This got a 100% rating. by the bros on Beer Advocate and 91% by like the general public. Which is, like, very rare, apparently. Yeah, so this is a lager. Um, An amber lager, which yes. I always enjoy. And an Oktoberfest-style lager. So it should be pretty clear, pretty smooth, pretty malty. So you can see that you have more in yours. I do. He gave himself more. Oh, uh, big boy. But I'm getting more cake, <laughs> so it's fine. Uh, all right, yeah, so it's pretty bubbly, kind of looks uh, looks pretty effervescent. There's not much of a head, just kind of a ring around the end. Um, That's my neighbor. Pretty Sorry. <laughs> hmm. I don't see someone said they smelled like a nutty aroma, but but anyway, so I don't the, really get that. the color is a nice copper color. Yeah, I mean for an amber, a little darker than a regular beer, yeah. Like lager, I feel like this is a lot darker than you know the typical one that you see. So. This smells like a nice fresh German beer, a little bready. Yeah. Malty. A little bit of hops coming through. Not a whole heck of a lot else. So I'm going to just try some now, because I'm tired of smelling it. Go for it. Okay. Ooh, I get, like, coffee. You get a coffee taste? Yeah, it does yeah. taste roasty. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, Great Lakes Brewing Company really knows what they're doing. They probably make um, my three favorite beers. This is the uh, the seasonal beer that comes out in August. Nosferatu will be coming out soon. Hopefully we'll review that. Why don't you give them a look at that label again? Oh, yes. So here's the label up close, if you want to take a look. So let's see. Yeah, so Amber's a graphic designer here. So how do you rate the label? How do I rate the label? Well, Great Lakes tend to all have um, illustrations on their label. So they don't really have a big... They don't change them up that much in terms of, like, you, you know when you see a Great Lakes beer, that's what it is, because they have the black, you know, the white text, and, like, and some kind of illustration in the middle. That's how they always are. This one looks pretty fun. There's a party going on. <laughs> I'm assuming it's at Oktoberfest uh, like in garden. Germany, which my dad's been to, and he says it's pretty cool. Let me, let's see if I can... Actually, I should probably ask him. I should have him try this, because he's actually been to Oktoberfest, and he probably knows, you know, good German beer. I, I can't identify this landscape as being Cleveland. Maybe it's Munich. Who knows? No, definitely not Cleveland. Um, <laughs> I mean, they don't wear the hats like that. Yeah, no. Um, <laughs> anyway, so. Just saying. Anyway, so the labels, you know, it's fine. I, and I'll see. If I saw this on the shelf, though, I wouldn't be like, yeah, I want to get Wouldn't that. make you go ahead and grab it. I tend to like to buy things based on label. That's what I do with wine. And... Sometimes you know that's not the best so idea. So what would you review? What would you rate the beer as, Amber? The uh, the label. Label. I don't know. I would give it like on a one. If I want to, okay, on a one to five, I give it like a two and a half. It's not that it's, serviceable. Serviceable label. I I like it a lot. But what do I know? Fine. Um, the beer. 
The beer, though, I do like. Mm. This is actually good. It's drinkable. It's not heavy. You it's know? not heavy at all. Mm-mm. It has a lot of flavor for a beer that's not heavy. Yeah. That's what I think is the best about the Oktoberfest beers. It has a little bitterness, but not mm-hmm. not too much, though. I don't no. think it's like enough that you're just like, ugh, like wincing every time you swallow. It's really malty. This is uh, this is clearly filtered. Um, there's nothing suspended in the beer or anything. It's per- it's pretty much perfectly clear. Um, also, we're yeah, drinking think... out of wine glasses, so you know, don't don't mind us. I think it smells great. Tastes great. Yeah. I would give this beer a four to five. Mm. Uh, overall, for the style, um, if we're talking about Oktoberfest, Marzins, or, or Lagers, um, I'd give it a 5 out of 5. I think I think this is an Oktoberfest that you're definitely going to want to try while still on the shelves. Hopefully you have it around you. It's pretty much a Rust Belt type beer. We just got it here in Western PA over the last uh, couple years or so. So if you can find it, track it down. Um, I would give it a 3, just because... That's my own personal preference, though. Mm-hmm. Now, if, you know, if you're into something a little lighter, then you might not love this. But for, you know, an Oktoberfest-type beer, I think it's definitely good. And it's definitely, you know, giving me, like, a fall feeling. So something you want to drink in September, for sure. So anyway, on to the cake. Let's move on. So we're moving on to the food. To the dessert. Hold on. Okay. And we're back. So we're back. And we have the cake. Ooh. <laughs> Check that out. So this is... A How, how'd we make it? Well, we got it on Pinterest. <laughs> <laughs> um, I looked up, you know, Oktoberfest dessert recipes, and there's all kinds of stuff coming up. But, um, so this is an apple kuchen, kuchen, I don't know how you pronounce Kuchen. What? She calls it the equivalent of a German coffee cake. Um, I got this recipe from cakestudent.com. Mm. And, um, yeah, she, I guess she used to eat this when she was younger, so it sounded pretty authentic. Presumably in Germany. I mean, maybe. Um, so basically what this consists of is a, you know, a dense cake layer, and on top is, like, an apple, like, streusel-type crumble. Um, so basically we made the dough with just flour, baking powder, sugar, some shortening. It's a pretty basic cake, though. Yeah, yeah. milk, eggs. A little denser. And that's it for, like, yeah. the batter. And then the topping was made from sliced up, peeled apples. These were Apollo Red apples that we They're used. They're very good apples. They're in season today. Yeah. Um, so that's what we grabbed. <clears throat> the um, And then the, the topping, had, so it had the apples, butter, Melted flour, butter. and sugar. Yeah. And I also added some cinnamon and vanilla extract into the dough, uh, just to give it a little something, something. So we're going to try it. All right. Let's so go try. Off we go. Oh, well. Hmm. First of all, it's very good. Yeah. Yeah. I bet this is really interesting watching two people eat cake on YouTube. Definitely tastes like coffee cake. It does, yeah. That's Thick, weird. dense cake. It has this apple top on it. I think this would be really great. It's a good, like, breakfast cake. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I... That probably tells you a little bit too much about us by the fact that we're talking about breakfast cake. That's really good. Um, well, I guess that's, coffee cake is... This is, like, solid. It's a solid It's very cake. good. I, I want more of the crust on it. I yeah. kind of want more of the apple, so... But it's like a subtle apple, which is mm-hmm. not bad. Because I added some cinnamon into the dough, and I think that does come out a little bit. Anyway, I think this would be great for your Oktoberfest party. Yeah, and it, 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 I made it in like a nine-inch pan, so you get a couple, mm-hmm. multiple slices out of that, so. It's pretty easy. Mm, yeah, I really. Hardest part was cutting up the apples. Mm. This is really good. Mm. I'm going to give that a three to five. A three? A three. <gasps> I'm going to give my beer a three to five. This is true, so I'm giving it a four out of five. Because I think it's delightful. And I will have no problem finishing it. Right. We might eat mm. the whole thing. All right. Well, that's the first episode of the books. Yeah. So happy Oktoberfest, guys. Mm-hmm. And we'll see you next week. Bye.